Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first, I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the instanding types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that instanding isn't an actual the word. <laughs> oh, forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like that Mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors, giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... reek to futures? Reek, huh? Oh, man! Tama, this prophecy's about you! What? What? what are you even talking about? There's nothing irrelevant the way I smell! You big the dummy! Well, at least I'm dumber than you! <laughs> Sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. Oh. <laughs> so, the giants from the hills, as in, combine with hills? I guess it's one of those believe what you want to things? But yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Um, do you mind if I ask you a slightly awkward question? If this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages and grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y yes Uh, dude. Whoa. King Brandalus's herald lieutenants, known as Seguardus and Pelinor, command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of ages past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you have done so well, you will understand. All right then. Now then. May I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, 
At one time, we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down the what? Uh, I think what he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Because we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages have been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. Th that's cool. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry. Wait a minute, why just me? What did I do? Aw, oh, man. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna save my progress. We're gonna go to the Nether Nebula. And I'll have a little bit more control over everything, and that'll be great. So let's, uh, let's, let's just do that. Uploading. Man, the save process takes a little bit. Sorry about this, viewers. I know, things are happening. It's all exciting. Oh, I can't wait to act. Looks oh. like we'll need to wind our way down to reach the exit. Seems that way. What a funny way to build a town. Oh, it's not that the strange to the people of Grimoire. Hey, while we're here, why don't we ask around town and just see what we can find out? Well, I guess I'll ask this guy. Uh, what am I gonna do? Oh, say, you wouldn't happen to be the giants from the hills by any chance, would you? You see, there's a situation I'm dealing with where I could really use your assistance, since you must know Mirage so well. Could I trouble you to please bring me an earth hammer? If you could, I would be forever in your debt. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, I got a quest! Thank you again for doing this. That's, uh, that's all there is. Anyways, we're in the city, or we're in the town of Cornelia. Am I pronouncing that right? Huh? What's this thing? up here? Hey, Tama! W wait up! Huh? Hmm? We're back in Ninewood Hills? You see, the gate here doesn't connect to just one the area. All throughout Grimoire, you'll find places. Save the locations that lead back here. Open the way to come and to go as you please. And how exactly do we do that? You already the song. Just walk up to the right place, and that's all it takes. But surely a means of transportation that handy must come with a catch? No, the catch! You can use the gate as little or much as you like. What's more, time in here and time in Grimoire, they don't both flow at the same speed. So whatever crisis is going to down, you can put it on hold and kick back here till you're ready. Whoa, it's like magic. Yeah, really irresponsible magic. Just imagine revisiting any place we've been. We'll call it the Super Porta Party. Are you the kidding? That name definitely gets an F. He deserves an H. An H? But grades only go down to F. Extra, extra, read all about it. What, what do you the one here, Serapy? In case you're wondering, you can use the prism case anywhere you find one of these gates. Oh, I think I would get it now. Gates are the what you meant when you talked about a strong connection. Huh? Oh, right, right, that's the gist of it. Oh, okay. Man, there's so much I want to say, but Gates. So we can go back to Ninewood Hills 
anytime we want. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great. It's a nice little hub where we can just kind of chill out, do our things, go access our prism case. Hell, we can do that at gates if we want. Uh, we got our adventure log, which kind of keeps us up to date. So if I take a long break from this game, at least I can catch up on what I need. And uh, we got many of uh, many ventures, which are essentially just you know your typical quest, your side quest where you go do a thing and collect a reward for it. Great. Great. All right, got it. Not important. <laughs> okay, to the Nether Nebula. Ah, oh, wait, we're back here. We're back. Actually, ah, uh, you know, I really want to talk about everything, including the fact that we're in, you know, the first Final Fantasy, or at least this whole place is a reference to the first Final Fantasy ever. I thought about let's playing that once. Hell, I might let's play it. But there's one more thing I want to do. Might as well get out of the way so I can actually focus on everything at hand. Has learned the stroll ability, it will follow you around in the field, just as the long as you include it in your lineup. Speaking of the witch, I have that ability too. So if you always the one to adore about Tama at your side, keep me in your lineup, okay? I guess and now is not the time to do what I was thinking. Alright. Fair enough. It's not that important anyways, so we're, I guess we'll just continue on the, the plotted course. That would be great. Oh, I don't want to go there. I want to go to Towns. Cornelia. Again, am I, am I mispronouncing that? I think that's it. That's what they were saying, right? Oh man, this this music. The castle music. Everything is fantastic. We got chokebows, which weren't actually in the first Final Fantasy. Also, there are white and black mages running around. That's pretty cool. I don't need to save. What am I doing? I, I guess we will uh, we'll just get our adventure on the road and go to the Nether Nebula, which wasn't actually a place in the first Final Fantasy. Chapter 3. Old Acquaintances. Oh, sweet. No cutscene? Use the map? Okay. She said the Nether Nebula is somewhere northeast of Cornelia, right? Time to go hustle and rustle a little Mirage muscle. Just don't hustle so much that you get yourself lost, okay? I might just leave you there. <laughs> When's the Three more don't potions, go. yeah. Okay. Going back to Rain. The Nether Nebula. Great, great, fantastic. I don't even know if this was a place in any of the Final Fantasies. Be the careful. The mirages in here are a lot the stronger than any you faced the before. Yeah, let's not mess around in the never never thing a nabob. Never nebula. Do you think you can do something about that habit of forgetting the name of virtually everything? Oh, here's another gate. That's the right! Gates that usually turn up in towns or at the start of most mirage-infested areas. You never have to travel far to the visit a place you've been. Whenever you want to get from point the A to point the B, just use the gate as a handy little shortcut. A shortcut, huh? So, like, if we wanted to go back to Cornelia right this instant, we could just take this gate back to Ninewood Hills, then we can take the gate from there to Cornelia. You see? All in all, it makes for a pretty short shortcut. Yeah! If it were hair, you'd have to call it... You'd have to call it a buzz cut! Okay. Well, that's handy. Actually, I, th I think, uh... I think I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna go back, save, and we'll resume in the Nether Nebula, and we're actually gonna have a lot of time to talk about stuff, and actually, I get to capture a new Mirage. That'll be amazing, and there'll be a lot of grinding, I'm sure, but that'll be done off-screen. So, yeah, I will, uh, I don't know. Next time, the Nether Nebula. Seriously, I don't think it was in any other Final Fantasy.